everyone. My name is Simone. I am a junior at Queens University, and today I'll be interviewing Carolina Silva. Carolina is a process designer and an engineer in training for Tyndale Corporation. Tyndale Corporation is a member of PCI. PCI stands for Precast slash Pre-Stressed Concrete Institute. Hello, Carolina. How are you? Hello. I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. You're so welcome. So Carolina, my first question for you today is, could you describe what your typical workday entails and kind of what was the first few years of this career like? Sure. So I currently have a hybrid position where I share part of my time with production and part of my time with engineering. So my work for production is focused on small projects across the plant where I look for continuous improvement. So I look at the production processes and look at how it can be improved, how we can improve efficiency. Uh, I'm also a member of the safety committee. So I act as an advocate for safety when I'm out there in the plant and I have to watch out for areas that need improvement or deficiencies need to be fixed. For the engineering department, I do field quality assurance. So I have to go to the job sites frequently to observe erection and if it's in accordance to the plan and to the drawings. So I look at connections, for example, to see if they're following the specifications. I look at the materials, if they're right. I have to look at the aesthetics of the product, if they're presenting any cracks or discoloration or any variation in color. And I also track and report all the repairs that are needed in the field. They are usually caused by an unconformance that was produced in production or sometimes by the general contractor. So since I started in this job, I've been learning a lot. So I'll say that the first few years, I'll spend acquiring a lot of knowledge and experience and it's been very fulfilling. Oh my word. It sounds mm -hmm. like you're an incredible busy woman. Like that's amazing. A little bit, thank you. Of course. <laughs> so um, you described a lot of different areas that you oversee. Yes. So what high school courses or college courses have you found to be the most applicable slash important for your occupation? And if you didn't take any of those courses that could help you in this career, what would you um, advise others to take? So I'm a civil engineer. So I naturally had a lot of classes related to the construction industry. But I get to apply more often everything I learn in the production management classes and structural concrete, concrete classes. That's amazing. So did you take that in, in high school or, or in college? In college. Okay, in college. college. Yeah. Okay, that's great. So uh, what part-time jobs or apprenticeships slash internships or extracurricular activities would best prepare you for occupation? Because a civil engineer, you're busy like all the time. So did you have a balance with extracurricular activities that could also help you in this career? Yes, I'd say that any experience in the in the manufacturing environment is beneficial if you want to work with pre precast because production of precast is very similar to the manufacturing of any other product out there. Uh, now we're not talking about design, I'm talking more about the production lines. Uh, if you're looking to design, you need a more sp specific knowledge of engineering and uh, structures. But if you intend to work closer to the field, like with direction or field services, I recommend having some experience in the construction job site, either working for a GC or for a subcontractor, for example, uh, because you can use a lot of this uh, practical experience once you have to go out there to job sites, that's part of what I do. Okay, thank you. And then Carolina, just for um, the audience understanding and also my understanding as well, could you define what a precast slash pre-stressed uh, concrete is for us? Right, so a uh, precast member, it's anything that's cast here at the plant and then shipped to the job site. So for example, we have wall panels, we cast them here at the plant, they're production here, producted here, and then it goes on the trailer to the job site and then it's put up and set to form the building. Uh, a precast element can also be pre-stressed. That means that it has steel strands. They are pre-stressed pre here in the plant. They are meant to give more to improve the strength of the member. 
Did I answer your question? Yes, that was perfect. Thank you so much. Okay. Now I'm understanding, you know, what you're talking about. So that's great. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Um, so what are some of the benefits with being a member of PCI? Uh, as a member of PCI, you have access to a huge library of resources. So you can access research that are specific to this field. You can be a member of a committee uh, or a council. They are usually focused on multiple aspects of the industry. So for example, productivity or workplace safety or erection, innovation, et cetera. And if you're a member of a committee, you have the opportunity to contribute to the industry development. So okay. I think that's pretty nice, yeah. Yes, that's amazing. So could you tell me a little bit about the networking or educational opportunities offered by PCI? PCI offers multiple educational opportunities. The ones I've taken advantage of the most are the PCI Productivity Tour and the webinars. So the tour that I attended to last week, by the way, um, takes you to different facilities, precasters facilities, and sometimes just suppliers facilities. So you get to learn a lot about the practices that are used in the industry. You get to see how the products you use for your product are produced. You also get to network with people who have been in the industry for many years, so they have a vast knowledge of precast. Um, you get to connect with vendors. You get to share experiences and ideas. If you have something that you need to fix or an issue that you're facing, you can always ask someone, and someone's going to have some experience or some input in it. Uh, the webinars are found on the website. They are usually an hour long, and they explore different topics in the industry, for example, production practices or cultural development. So it's a great opportunity to learn new things. Wow, that's awesome. So um, could you tell me what did you find most surprising about this career? The challenges that we face every day is definitely what surprised me the most because there's always something that doesn't go, that doesn't go according to the plan. And then you have to come up with a, with a fix and a solution for it in a short time frame. Uh, some jobs can be more challenging than the others. So although we work with mostly parking decks and wall panel jobs, one project's never, never going to be equal to the other. So there's always something that you have to coordinate, that you have to manage, and then you get to the erection phase. You have to coordinate everything with the, with the other trades. You have to figure out how you're going to ship the product to the job site, how you're going to lift that, how you're going to set it. So everything, not, not, nothing's the same, you know, and that makes the routine not boring at all. Right. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much. So could you describe when you met your first challenge, like how did you respond? Like, did you have mentors to help you or did you just have to like learn as you you tackle that challenge? A little bit of both. Uh, some things, some challenges that I've faced so far are things that were known. I just didn't have the experience in it. So in that case, I would go to someone and ask for help. But I've also faced challenges that are new to us. And in that case, I have to research what's going on and go after it myself and try to figure out what's going on. Obviously, with the help and the aid from my manager and the more experienced engineers around here, but it's a little bit of both. Okay, thank you so much. So Carolina, you gave us a lot of information this interview. So I'm wondering, is there any thing else, any sort of wisdom or advice that you would like to give someone who is considering this occupation? Yes. So the precast industry encompass so many different professionals from different fields that you don't have to be an engineer or a craftsman to work with precast. If you're interested in the industry, just research different job positions and find that one that fits your skill set better. And I'm sure you'll find something that you be able to work on. Wow. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Thank you. You're so welcome. And thank you all for joining us today. And I hope you learned more about PCI. For more information, please visit the PCI Q Career page and find out how PCI can help you with your career development. Until next time, have a great day. Goodbye.